talk about quality, we're talking about making products, services, healthcare, really anything better. And as we do this, we need to make sure that we're not driving process or product improvements just based on gut feels or what we think is happening. Quality is focused on using statistical tools and metrics to make sure that we understand how our changes to that product or service actually impact the output that our customer receives. One of the most notable definitions of quality is from Dr. Feigenbaum. And his definition is that quality is a customer determination, which is based on the customer's actual experience with the product or service measured against his or her requirements, stated or unstated, conscious or merely sensed, technically operational or entirely subjective, always representing a moving target in a competitive market. Quality is up to your customer, and it could be something that's an operational aspect that you can actually measure, or it could be something that's, that's very subjective. And as you improve your quality, your customer expects more, and this is why it's a moving target. And not only do you have to worry about your products and services, you also have to worry about your competitors' products and services to make sure that you're best in class. We're going to follow the Six Sigma methodology. With Six Sigma, it follows a define, measure, analyze, improve, and control methodology, also known as the DMAIC methodology. Six Sigma focuses on reducing process and product variation using problem solving and statistical tools. The goals are, are really to develop a world-class culture, develop leaders within our organization, and support the long-range objectives for our organization to be that the best in class. As we use Six Sigma, we'll go through each of these five phases so that we can really understand in the defined phase what processes are involved who the team members are, and what metrics are, are really supporting our decisions. In the measure phase, this is where we develop our improvement goals and we start determining where some of our sources of variations exist in our process. Then in the analyze phase, we use more of the statistical tools to really understand what are those key variables that affect our average and variation in those performance measures. And then in our improve phase, once we understand those key variables, now we want to make sure that we can optimize those variables, determine those key settings so that we can achieve our performance measures. And then finally, in our control phase, this is where we monitor our process so that we can prevent backsliding and processes from going back to the old way of doing things.